the top two priorities for any trader, whether you're in stocks, but particularly if you're in crypto, should be risk management and learning from your mistakes. I started trading Bitcoin in December of 2017. Shortly after it, it just hit its then all-time high right near $20,000. At that point, I had been trading and investing in the stock market for more than 19 years, and I was cocky. I even said to myself, I got this. There's no question I'll be successful trading Bitcoin. Bitcoin then collapsed from where I started at $12,000 all the way down to $7,000 within just a few weeks of when I started. Then it bounced back up over $11,000 within a few days before crashing all the way down to $6,000 in January of 2018. Bitcoin settled in a range between $6,000 and $8,000 for the next 11 months, and I thought I had figured it out. I kept learning from my mistakes, and I thought I knew everything there was to know about Bitcoin. But I didn't. I was making all new mistakes. And worse, I wasn't even realizing the mistakes I was making. All the experts in Bitcoin back then said that the $6,000 mark was the all-time low, that Bitcoin would never break below that. So all the trades that everyone was executing were using $6,000 as the all-time low. We all thought it would never go lower. And just like with every asset class, that bottom and support helped. Until it didn't. In November of 2018, that key $6,000 support level broke, and Bitcoin ended up dropping another 50%, not actually bottoming until $3,128 in December of 2018. That year saw me take my biggest loss in all the years I've been in the markets, which is now more than 25. In fact, that Bitcoin crash scared so many of my friends out of the Bitcoin and crypto markets that they still haven't returned to it, even now in 2024. For me, I refer to the Bitcoin crash of 2018 as my tuition to crypto university. If every trading mistake you make is a learning experience, I surely earned an honorary PhD during that year. However, I have no regrets. I'm nothing if I'm not stubborn, and I will continue beating my head against the wall until I figure out something that works. In December of 2018, I sat down and developed my own Bitcoin trading approach that was completely different to anything I'd ever used before. And over the last four years, I've executed more than 110 trades in both Bitcoin and Ether. And I have a 100% success rate. That's right, I do not fail at any trade and haven't since because of the way I manage risk and understand the assets that I'm trading. In fact, I've made back all of that loss from 2018, the biggest loss I've ever taken in 25 years in the markets, and profits on top of it, all because of my ability to reevaluate my trading plan and figure out what was going wrong. The moral of the story is this. The worst thing you can do as a trader or an investor when you make a mistake is to give up and quit. It doesn't matter how long you've been investing or trading, you will make more mistakes. And if you don't realize that what you need to do is to learn from them, then they could actually beat up your mental state and cause you to drop out of the game entirely. However, when you do make mistakes, you need to make sure you don't leverage up too much. You cannot take on more risk. The market can force you to quit if you're risking too much by crashing your account and driving you to zero. Always manage risk. Always focus on how much you're willing to lose, not how much you could make in any investment or trade. And always have a plan to ensure that you can come back tomorrow and start again. Are you just getting started investing for the first time? Check out my tutorial about how to get started investing where I go over some of the strategies and techniques that have made me successful over the last 25 years. 